Is it possible to start drop shipping with just $100 and what would the outcome be if you decided to put that money to work? Hey, what's going on everyone? Hayden here coming back at you with a brand new video and in this one I want to bring you a video that's actually pretty different from most of the ones that we post on the channel Not in the sense of e being e-commerce related, but in the sense of how I'm going to share this strategy with you So as most of you know the most frequent platform that I personally use is Shopify and while about 30% of my websites nowadays are built on a custom hosted website it doesn't really change Shopify versus that. That's just for more customization purposes. But what I want to share with you in this video is actually a different type of e-commerce that's on a completely different main platform that you will recognize in a moment. And I want to share why it can actually be a great place to start if you have the lowest of the low budget. Okay, something like $100, you could even start with less. I know that sounds interesting. That would have enticed me if I had known how to do this. It probably would have been some quick ways to make money and and then go into the type of e-commerce that I ended up in instead of just having to continue working jobs and hustling to get some money in order to fund my e-commerce business, okay? Now, I do just wanna say that this does go against a lot of what I believe in with e-commerce, okay? The reason I'm sharing it with you is because I recommend this to friends. I have a lot of friends back home where I grew up who are trying to get into e-commerce and I'm more than willing to you know, assist them in any way I can and try to recommend you know, something that I know works, something that's gonna give them the best possible odds. And this strategy is something where, you know, if it's only $100, I believe you're not very invested into the business. Because if you lose $100, you know, you can get $100 pretty quick. I don't care where you are or how you plan on doing it, but you can get $100 pretty quickly. Versus if you have to save up thousands and thousands. I mean, think about people who save for 20 years working a job so they can finally afford to open a restaurant. I mean, that's normal. You know, people saving for a long time. It took me about two years to save up enough money to start. And then I lost all of it and had to restart. So, you know, something like $100, it, it kind of goes against what I did. So this is just something a little different, but a lot of it is still applicable. So with that being said, make sure to smash the like button down below so that we can help this reach more people who want to get started in e-commerce and show them something that not really a lot of people talk about. Um, it's just going to be a fun video explaining it. So let's get into it. I'm not going to hold it back from you guys. I'm not going to drag this out. This is something you're going to be using the platform known as eBay in order to do. So most of you know that one of the most common places to start drop shipping from a sourcing perspective, meaning where you get your products, right? It could be in a glasses case, right? To put your glasses in or whatever. Where are you getting the products from? The easiest way to do that without having to order inventory or you know negotiate with suppliers and build out this whole relationship and whatnot is to order products one by one off of AliExpress. So you can actually source products through AliExpress if you're selling them on any platform. You know, it's your choice where you're sourcing it from. So this strategy is something where you could actually test a whole lot of products real quick, find a couple winners, and then this is what I would do, is once you identify a couple of winners and you're making money, then go move it to Shopify where you're doing paid marketing. This is where you're more so controlling your customers, you're controlling the amount of money you're making instead of leaving it up to, for an example, eBay. So we're going to dive into this example with eBay. I want to show you uh, kind of exactly how it works, break it down and talk about a couple of key points because again, this is something where you can test a lot of stuff really quickly. It could build the capital uh, that you need to start something else very quickly. I know I made a video about two, maybe three weeks ago talking about how to make a thousand dollars a day. And I was talking about eBay. I was kind of doing a case study on one of my friends who did this and grew it inside of, uh, I, th I think under two months. You know, it it's something that's very viable. It's very scalable as you know with e-commerce. So what you're going to do is you're going to identify as many possible products as you can that you want to test. I would say the best range to start with is anywhere from like three to eight because you could pretty easily manage that. You could create multiple listings on your eBay account. Now as for what you're looking for in a product, I have made countless versions of product research videos giving you winning products that you could literally take and directly sell but find something that you know is already selling for someone else find something that 
it kind of has that wow factor to you. It's like, oh wait, this is cool. This is unique. You know, maybe it's something you can't get in stores. Try to find something that you know. It, it's that it factor where it looks cool. It's something that might be unique and catches someone's attention. Okay. Now, one thing you're looking for once you kind of find a product is when you're looking for a supplier on AliExpress, which again would be the easiest way to start this. Would be look for the photos. You want to pay close attention to the content you have because if you've ever been on eBay or on Amazon. What is your criteria when you're looking through? You're not just looking at the price and reading the title. There's three main things that people look at. The first is the photo, then they move to the right, which is the title, kind of usually skim through that, and then price, okay? So the photo is one of the most important things. Your cover photo, you have to get people to click. It's almost like an opt-in rate. You have to get people to click, okay? And you wanna make sure that you have a crystal clear photo, something that looks good, and you could even list the same product multiple times using different photos. So the whole strategy here is based around the fact of you could easily make a listing on eBay. And I have a friend who has done this, over and over and over and over again. So you could make a listing for five products. So you have five listings and you're gonna try different strategies to rank them. So remember, just like Amazon, eBay works very much so off of a ranking algorithm. So more people who are clicking on your post, who are ordering your product, that's gonna help you bump up because you're getting good feedback. Clearly people are responding better than average. So what you're gonna wanna do is try to identify what's working. And no matter what courses you buy, what videos you watch, the only way to get a sense of that is to just do it a bunch of times. So I think the fastest way for you to do this, and this is why I'm recommending multiple products, is to test three, five, eight products, launch them all. And a couple of the variables, by the way, that you should be testing and this is stuff I test all the time, would not only be your pricing, but test different styles of photos. So there's two main styles. There's one where it's just a regular background. It's all white or it's all black. There, there's no visual. You, don't, you can't pay attention to the background because there's nothing there. It's just the product. Now, the issue with this is it doesn't really have that relating connection. Someone can't exactly visualize themselves with, you know, a watch if it's just sitting on, you know, an all white background. There's no, you know, scalability. They can't see the skin color against the watch and like, you know, imagine themselves in that, right? You also don't get any proportion of how large it is, the sizing, which, you know, can cause customer complaints. So one type of photo that I love, and you can look for this from your supplier, usually they'll have it, is what I like to call a lifestyle photo. So for an example, if I was selling a, a pen, right, a luxury pen, I would take a picture of it on my laptop with my notebook next to it or on my notebook, you know, with some words that I had just written out with that pen so people could get an idea of what it would look like on their desk, you know, what the actual writing looks like, you know, you get the idea. So something that's a little bit more candid. If you're selling a toothbrush, put it in a toothbrush holder in a bathroom with other stuff in there. Like they wanna see towels and a sink and you know a mirror. You should be able to kind of create that environment in a photo. So if you can't find anything that's too crazy but you really wanna test the product, test it anyways and if it starts working, actually order it yourself. You can even order it from your own store that would help boost you up a little bit order it from yourself and then take content. You know, you, even if you have an iPhone, you could just take some pictures of it and that'll do. You don't need anything too crazy. Maybe hire a little editor off Fiverr for five bucks just to spice up the photo, put a filter on it or whatever if you don't know how to do it. You know, something simple like that is definitely something you should be focusing on. Now, the other variables to test when it comes to eBay, um, and this is a big one when it comes to ranking, is your title. So think about it like this, the types of keywords you're using in your title, the length of how many words and how many letters your title is, as well as are you using capital letters or lowercase letters? So this could mean you know a capital first letter for each word, it could be all capitals, which is kind of like you're yelling, trying to grab customer attention, or it could be just a capital first letter and everything else is lowercase. You should test this across a couple different products and just try to get a sense of what's working, okay? So make sure to just litter your description of the product with keywords based around it. So the easiest way to do this, and I'm trying to be as practical as possible, possible um, is to go ahead and actually think of what you would search. So if I'm selling, you know, again, we'll just use this example, a case for your glasses, right? Glasses that go on your face. I would think, what are people searching who are finding this? You know, glasses case, sunglasses case, 
case for my glasses, leather glasses case, you know, stuff like that. Look up a couple of brands that are big in that industry and try to find them, you know, put in like, you know, I guess Armani cases, if that was just an example, you know? So you could easily start to find these things and just start to put those words around because that will help you rank. That'll help people who are searching those specific things, which is your target demographic, at least click on your listing, which is huge, you know, starting to get that click through rate up. People will definitely start to click on it more if you've set things up correctly. And then eBay will notice it and they'll start pushing you up a little bit more in the algorithm, especially if you start to get orders. So again, I'm no expert on eBay. I've watched friends do this over and over again. I have a little bit of experience on selling it, selling on that platform myself, but not to a large extent, you know, not to making thousands of dollars a day. I've dabbled, I've helped friends with it. I've set up their listings with them, shown them how to kind of write ad copy, more so meaning how to sell something with words. So that would include the title, the description of the product, things of that nature nature. So I believe, and don't quote me on this again, eBay is not my cup of tea, but I believe you have a limit of $1,000 that you can make in the first month. So eBay wants to verify your shipping times. They want to make sure that everything's legit. So make sure if they ask you for any documentation that you provide full transparency. That will definitely go your way. But I think it goes 1,000 and then they're going to bump it up a lot. It kind of depends on a couple variables. I've seen people get bumped up to 5,000 the next month. I've seen people technically have no limit and they're able to scale quicker. It just depends. You can always reach out to eBay support because if something starts taking off, it's a little bit different than what I do for a living because I control it taking off. Your product, you could wake up having never made more than two sales in a day and you wake up at 8 a.m. and there's already 15 sales. It could happen. It could bump up in the algorithm. Whereas with my ads where I'm spending a certain amount of money to reach an audience, it usually wouldn't happen like that. I mean, maybe in like the rarest of occasions, one every five years, you know, it's, it's just, it's more consistent. So I can kind of push that growth with you. You have to be ready for it. You have to be able to make sure the supplier you're using could technically support hundreds of orders a day or more. So you just want to kind of make sure you're covered on all bases because as soon as something takes off, it will be a little bit of work. Now you're gonna have to deal with customer support and this and that, but that would be the easiest way to start drop shipping without having to touch a product, without having to buy inventory. You never pay for a product until the customer pays for it yourself, which means you've already collected the money regardless of it's deposited in your bank or not. I know people always bring that up. It doesn't matter. It, it, worst comes to worst, wait two days to fulfill the order or just ask someone for a $15 loan or whatever it is to pay for the product. You, know, you definitely wanna get it shipped out as quick as possible because in the beginning, those reviews are everything. Reviews and good ratings, which is why I always stress good shipping times, make sure it's quick and you have good support. That's also gonna help boost you up in that algorithm. So it's a long-term game. I have friends who absolutely destroy it on eBay as well as on Amazon and it really is a ranking game. I mean, they have dozens of products that just completely fill up the first page on Amazon for, you know, for supplements, for weight loss, for keto, for all sorts of different things. I mean, everything to dog toys and, you know, like t-shirts and just all sorts of different stuff in different niches, you know, like, like a niche inside of a niche. So there's a lot of different ways to make money, but that would be one of the easiest ways to start e-commerce. Maybe your end goal is not e-commerce. Maybe you want to start a brick and mortar business or, or, or something specific that you want to do, whatever it is you need the money for. This could be a great way to build up to that, get some cash flow, and at the same time, learn e-commerce, which is one of the biggest industries, one of the fastest growing industries, and in my opinion, one of the most fun, okay? So if you have any questions about this at all, please feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. Make sure to smash the like button if you got any value and let me know if you're gonna start doing eBay. I would love to kind of keep pace with who's doing it, see some of the results, and again, if you have any questions along that journey, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to help you with your title, your pricing, pictures, descriptions, whatever it is. Maybe I can make a video setting up a listing um, if people want more help with eBay, again, I don't actively do it very much, but I've helped, I think, six or seven people just set up listings, um, and multiple of those have become successful, you know, making hundreds of dollars a day. So, yeah, it's been fun. There's a lot of stuff with e-commerce. Don't feel too overwhelmed. You know, it can take time to learn. There's a lot of stuff. I know I just threw a lot of information at you while standing here awkwardly at 11 p.m. because... I've been working all day and I got about six hours of work left. So, I mean, I just got to fit it in where I can. You know, I'm overwhelmed as well. So uh, I'm going to do my best to help you guys out. If you have any questions, I love to go back through the comments on the videos a couple days after I post it. So make sure to drop anything down there. Don't forget to smash a like on your way out. With that being said, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.